Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Popcorn Reviews I'm Farhad if you're new to this channel then please smash that subscribe button now and thank you so much for your continued love and support while I was away I needed some time out so I did not make any videos in the past week but the amount of love that I did get for all my YouTube videos it just is a reflection of how good this community is going on and the reason for that is that we are now into the 500 so we are 500 all subscribers away from the 2k mark the new goal of our channel so if you're new please smash the subscribe button and like the video and today i just thought i'll make a quick video on a comparative analysis this time between the hindi film kisi ka bhai kisi ki jaan and the Tamil film Veeram which had released in 2014. Now there is a love affair that is going on between Bollywood and its adaptations and one such much talked about adaptation was of Kisi Ka Bhai Kisi Ki Jaan which is the official adaptation slash remake of Veeram. Now the thing with Veeram was that I watched it days before uh, the release of Kisi Ka Bhai Kisi Ki Jaan and I did not like it at all. It was an absolute slog. I mean, even the staunchest Ajit Thala Ajit fans would say that no, this was not his best work. And for me, it was a very poor film. It was very poor. And I instantly knew that Kisi Ka Bhai, Kisi Ki Jaan would actually be, it would spell trouble, right? I mean, the original wasn't good. Why would you even remake a film which was not good in the first place? But then, Kisi Ka Vai, Kisi Ki Jaan is not as bad as Veeram or as others are saying, which doesn't mean that this is a good film either. It is not a good film. It is just about average, in my opinion. And I, I would say that, uh, you know, um, the main issue with Kisi Ka Vai, Kisi Ki Jaan is the script, the writing that is there, it is very poor. Because it is an adaptation of a script, of a film which was already poor it did not have much meat in its story and its screenplay at all so the first half in kisi ka vai kisi ki jaan um, it has its moments where uh, there are um, disjointed events that are taking place and uh, that is something that uh, did not connect really well you know the extravagant uh, launch sequence after the uh, introduction of the antagonist, the cardboard antagonist, the launch sequence of Salman Khan was all right. Uh, it is definitely catered to that mass audience, but it did not really connect in that opening sequence. However, that homage that was uh, uh, you know paid in the next 15 minutes that was I think those were the best 15 minutes of Kisi Ka Vai, Kisi Ki Jaan by a margin, and I think that is something. Uh, for people who haven't watched, I won't spoil it, but uh, that was that section, that 15 minute section from the 15 minute mark to almost the 30 minute mark. Uh, that section, I think I really liked that was original and we needed more of that. But apart from that, you know, it was just a mix match of um, different episodes. The love story was an eyesore. I mean, it's just doesn't make sense when uh, such an old guy falls in love with such a young girl you as a viewer will not be able to connect and there was no reason for you to believe you know that this is a normal love story or anything they did not uh, even make that they did not even address that to any extent um however it was all right uh, the humor did not connect really as well um coming to the second half the second half i felt uh, was a missed opportunity because they had to show elements of south india and they could have shown that culturally so well and that is something that was completely missed the second half just goes for a toss there's absolutely no story the character motivation of the antagonist is absolutely hilarious to say the least so second half is absolutely a mess first half is disjointed but all right uh, overall it is just an average average film as far as the uh, overall uh, thing is concerned the writing is very poor uh, the dialogues range from if you want to actually call it it's massy but absolutely ridiculous at some places but not as ridiculous as some of the other works of Farhad Samji not me but the director of the film Farhad Samji I like the music I like the couple of songs actually the music is a mixed bag as well but the couple of songs do stand out. However, the songs, you know, 
they break the flow of the drama here so there is a song every say what 15 minutes so it's almost like a musical in between action sequences so i mean that is something that did not really uh warrant for a good uh, screenplay that was there with the songs uh, the bgm is all right um, in fact it does try at many places to enhance the drama farhad sam ji uh, doesn't do a very good job but i wouldn't say this is one of his worst works either i have seen worst works of farhad sam ji and this was slightly better than those uh, which doesn't really mean anything because the bar is so low that slightly better still doesn't warrant a good direction it's not but at least you know it's contrived it's actually controlled at certain places and i think that is something that can be given some credit um it's not as bad as veeram you would say uh, the direction of veeram was absolutely but then one thing i must also say here that veeram had released back in 2014 and that was a point where such films may have worked so you can't make the story of 2014 in 2023 coming to the performances i mean the performances are absolutely bah it's not great you know salman khan films normally do give chances to people who are either finding their feet or out of work and uh, here there are a bunch of actors who either have overacted or actually have not acted as well you would know who they are you know siddharth nigam jassi gill raghav jewel Shena's Gill, Palak. I think Palak did have some spark. I would say Palak was all right. Uh, but the other girl, Vinila. Uh, I think no, nobody really left a mark. Even uh, Olympic gold medal, Olympic medalist. Sorry, not gold medalist. Olympic Indian medalist Vijendra Singh, who plays the antagonist, was a big embarrassment here. I mean, it was absolutely um, his acting was absolutely not up to the mark. Um, other than that salman khan or salman khan he's stiff you know almost playing an extension of himself um some scenes were all right i would still say were all right there was some amount of sincerity there but other than that no i mean he really needs to pick up his game and it's not up to the mark eventually so this is a very interesting comparative analysis between two films which are very bad <laughs> and it was a race of who was worse than the other who was little better than the other and for that kisi ka bhai kisi ka jaan is slightly better than veeram i would say but it still doesn't categorize anything it is still not a good film i will not recommend it i'm sorry and that was it then if you're liking the video please smash that like button please subscribe to the channel press that bell icon Also, if you'd like to read my full review of Kisi Ka Bhai Kisi Ki Jaan, detailed review on my site Popcorn Reviews with a Double S, the link of which is in the description box below. Do visit that. Um, also, follow me on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Letterbox. I do not end up making a video on everything that I watch, but I do write a lot. So, all information is present on my site Popcorn Reviews with a Double S and on my social media handles. Do visit that as well. I will see you again with another video probably tomorrow or day after but then till then share this video with your friends spread the word let's grow this community together until then take care of yourself thank you so much once again for your love and support i'll see you again very soon cheers